Hey guys, Nitin here with the Easy Keyword Finder and in this video I'm just going to take you through how to use this tool. So if you click on search, we have four options. So this keyword research tool will allow you to find keywords in Amazon as well as Google. And it's using the Amazon and the Google APIs to actually find the keywords. So let's get started. We'll, we'll start with the Amazon Keyword Tree and you'll see a dialog like this. You can type in something like, say, a T-shirt. And as you type, you will see these um, options being presented. Now what you can do is basically double click on each of these items and it will further drill down into the keywords. So this way you can actually do uh, you can find keywords which are related and keep going until you find something. If it says zero, it means that there's no more drill down keywords from here. So um, you can do this. And yeah, you can, I mean, it's fairly simple to use. So this is Amazon and this is the keyword tree. The other one is the Amazon Keyword Expander. And as you notice, you can open up several windows at the same time. You can even open up multiple of the same window and do some other keyword research like uh, pop sockets right, for iPhone. And then you can drill down. You can see here pop socket for I iPhone purple. So people are looking for purple pop sockets. And if you go down, you can see here, look at this glitter marble flower. So these give you a lot of really good ideas on how to find specific keywords. And these are all long tail keywords that you can see and put down in your uh, keyword strategy. All right, let's go to the keyword expander. Now this, this uh, tool is really uh, great. It can do normal scan or deep scan. So you can search by a prefix or a postfix. What I mean by that is, let's say you want to find um, something like a, a ebook. If you have this option, means that it's going to look for everything which ends with ebook. So, um, so let's just go and click on search and see what happens. I'll, I'll just stop it. So it's you can see it's found 211. And you can see here, if I go up to the top, it's saying um, ebook. So it found book. And um, it found anything which is before the word book. So it found a book like this. And then A, B, C, D, found an E space book. And it just goes on and on. So anything which is prefix with the word book. If I go postfix, and now I'm going to clear the results so it's easier to see. Click on search. And you can see that it's finding everything after ebook. So it found 78 uh, results. And you can see ebook, a bag full of money by C. Romano. Or Ramono, I should say, um, ebook, a pandemic story. So you can do, so you can do a whole bunch of research for keywords using this expander tool. Now you can click on a keyword, right click, and say copy selected item, or copy all checked items, or delete checked items, check all items, uncheck all items. So if I say check all items. And then I say copy all checked items. And then I open, let's say, Notepad. Let's say I open Notepad and I'll paste, right click and paste. So you have all your keywords here. Okay, I'll just remove this. And um, you can do the same thing here. So you can right click on a node and we can say copy entire tree to clipboard. Or you can say click. Uh, copy the branch. So for example, if we're in this branch here, I can right click and say copy the branch. I open up my notepad again, and I'll paste, and you get basically this branch here. 
okay which is all these t-shirts that you see here all right so um yeah that's a that's really it um let's just move on to google search so this is the same the same thing we're doing for amazon but now we can do it for google so i can type in t-shirt and once again we get these uh you know keywords showing up and then we can click on or double click on um one of the items and then keep on double clicking and you can see that it'll just keep going on until it says zero that means that there's no more uh, keywords and once again you can basically right click here and say copy entire tree this time go to my uh, notepad paste and then we can see that we've copied all the all the keywords that you can use all right um and then once again we've got the google keyword expander exactly the same thing but this time it's searching on google and um, this deep this time if we go deep scan and let's look for something like um coffee mugs right something like this and um, well, let's do this search and see what happens so it's finding a lot of coffee mugs on uh, on Google, uh, I should say. It's found on um, yeah, 200, just over 200 now, and it will keep going on and on. I'm just going to click on stop. So hopefully that will stop. And then if we uh, take this, we can copy selected item. And what else can we do here? Copy selected item. Let's say copy item. Then I'm going to go to keyword uh, expander again. And this time we can paste that in, do a deep scan and see what happens. I'm not sure what will happen, but coffee mug for cat lovers. Let me stop this and I'll go after the uh, search phrase, click on search. See if we find anything. So this is fairly a long tail keyword, so we're not finding anything useful, but I think you get the idea. I'm just going to stop this here. So um, if you're looking for coffee mugs, you can see that there's a lot of coffee mugs for cats and coffee mug beautiful. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So let me just go back into this and I'll say coffee mugs cat and you can see coffee mug people who love cats they have coffee mugs large mugs for cats on them cat studio coffee mug extra large china coffee mug right you you know it's just something that you would not really be typing in but let's say i just say mugs so there's mugs mug shots mug mugs so mugs let's say in here zero we have this mugsy mugs height and feet. Uh, I have no idea what this, this is, but I think you get the idea. That, I mean, you can search on basically anything that you can do in Google, but the cool thing here is that you can do the drill down, which is very useful, right? So you can see a whole bunch of stuff. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, very simple tool. Um, you can close all these windows up like this and I've made it multi-window because then you can kind of put them side by side and do a comparison so you don't have to close down one window just to open another one. I think I find it really useful. And I use this tool almost every every day. I, um, I post stuff on Amazon Merch or, um, you know, do keyword research on Amazon to sell my Amazon products. Um, this is really... A, a really a great tool to have 